I will meet you there. One other matter requires my attention. Okay, you go sort your thing out. I'll go sort my thing out. I'll send you a message and we'll meet there, yeah? Sounds good. Can't imagine anything is going to come of this. He wants to speak to Hanako. Pretty damn sure she's going to be uh, unreceptive to what we have to say. By the way, do you know your brother killed your father? It's true. I saw it while I was nicking this chip that's in my neck. Killing me. I mean, it's a totally convincing argument right there. Where the hell's my bike? It's a little after midnight, which pretty much seems like the perfect time to visit a place like Clouds. Or the perfect time to get brutally murdered, of course, as well. Let's, uh... Just Brendan, what's the difference between a broken bone and a broken heart? System error. I repeat, system error. Ah, damn it to hell. Okay, I'm a little curious. Let's take it from the top. What's your name? I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood spontaneous craving satisfaction machine. How about a coffee? Word of warning, it <gasps> yes! could be delicious. Seems to be working now. Fine, I'm coming and grabbing a coffee when I'm done here. Make sure it's working well, please. No decaf. So, you broke even? Yes, but the goods were trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The stand's Tiger Claw's property, and you're Tiger Claw's property. You had one job. Sell the stock, take the eddies, and do nothing gunk. Is that so hard? Is that clear? Run your fucking discounts when you get your own fucking stand. Which will be never. <laughs> Which will be never. <laughs> I hate people like that. I mean, I hate a lot of people, but people like that really are very annoying. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Speaking of annoying people. Okay. You might be right, but do you have any better suggestions? Other than, you know, just standing in an elevator and brutally sulking. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Okay. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild orgy. So having a grand old time. I don't know, from what I've heard, that sounds right up your alley. Arisaka and the Tiger Claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corpse leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets soiled. Surprised? No, not really. If Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Fight against multiple sclerosis. Hmm. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Wow, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Yeah. Because my intuition's telling me she's not lying. So hold on. You take a blow-up doll, remodel the hole, and, and that's cheap. That's infidelity. Oh, we do not need to be listening to this conversation. No, we do not. All right, before I go in, before I go in, I gotta... Why am I still talking to him? A, he's not there. Well, technically he's still here. B, he's annoying. Right, so, definitely want to keep working on tech. However... 
No. I want I want to un unlock overclock. I'm not going to do it this time, but plus 10% quick hack damage is not bad. Every little bit helps. I'm, and I'm almost there at the 15 for tech. Although, I should bear in mind, Johnny may be annoying, but he's got a point about the possibilities in this place. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Hmm. Would you care to jack into the terminal? God, I hope not. Uh. You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core, into paying an arm and a leg for a ripper doc. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. Hmm. Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. Okay, I need those implants. Uh, I just, look, seriously, I just need to talk to her, yeah. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? Nope. Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef. Point blank. Tempting, but if you're saying what I think you're saying, that's probably a bad idea. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Oh. Okay, I, I, for some reason, thought you were just going to suggest I go in there and start shooting people. I am pleasantly surprised. Jack in, please. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Okay. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once uh you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. You notice she didn't actually answer the question about there being no record of this. <sighs> Guess I don't have a lot of choice. Check in, please. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You, you just described my entire life. Remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife samurai. Eh, not fanboying. Afterlife. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. That was an interesting way so of describing it. Angel or Sky? 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with Sky. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Okay. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, booth nine. please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Oh. Okay. Deposit the weapons. Over there. Got it. Right. You won't find any use for weapons. Only two inside. willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Why? Yeah, like. Y you're judging people for being sex workers? You? Really? Yes, because you're a paragon of virtue, Don't aren't worry. you? All your grown up toys will be safe with us. Well, is it okay if I worry a little? You know, I feel a little naked without them. And not good naked either. We hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah, me too. By the way, love the outfit, love the hair. Good match. Okay. Right, we got cameras. We've got a somewhat seedy looking booth set up. We haven't. Did you hear something? We have an elevator. We have lots of cameras. What the hell are we having there? Booth 9 is there. I'm thinking we avoid that for now. We just... Alright, what the hell? see you looking at me through the door but I could swear I'm s oh, okay all right probably just exhaust oh he's still moving just looked a little Don't know anywhere that does coffee no do you have a coffee bar do you have a coffee bar no not bad, but it would be much better real. I would eat those thighs. What do you mean real? Okay. She's all ones and zeros. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Okay, VIP membership to get upstairs. <gasps> All right. Got a feeling that's where I've got to be. In the meantime, I'm just gonna have some fun with cameras, because, well, why not, hmm? All right, let's see what I can see. So, we've got camera access to the VIP lounge, but there's not really a lot going on here. I can remotely deactivate things like the smart glass. Can't say that's particularly useful at the moment. And there is a door right here beyond which I don't think there are any cameras. But there are a lot of servers, and somebody 
keeping track of them. Probably the main security office in that direction. All right, I think I've got a good idea of the layout of the place. Not totally sure where that goes. Okay, before I start trying to break security and go in places I'm not supposed to go, I should probably try and get my money's worth and see what on earth all the fuss Guess is about. Guess that makes you a real deviant. S why? Because I've got two choices. Really? Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. I mean... Honestly, I'm a little surprised about how puritanical you're coming across right now. I would have thought this sort of place was right up your alley. I mean, isn't... Maybe it's just not seedy enough for you, hmm? Hi. Hi, I'm Sky, And you must be... Valerie? Okay. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Okay, well, it, this wasn't on my bucket list, but you know what? While we're here. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V. You're dying. Okay, yes, this was definitely not on my bucket list. How do you know I'm dying? Y because you did a scan of me and picked up some surface and thoughts. thoughts. Yeah. How do you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Actually, the Look loudest around. is the one being very annoying All and judgmental. All of this is your doing. Yeah, well, thanks for that. That makes me feel so much better. There's something in those mirrors. Which mirrors? Hey, talk to me. Okay. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Okay. I'm talking to myself, aren't I? You're a construct built from my memories. Hey. Talk to me. You just kind of talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Fair enough, I guess. Um... Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. Okay, this is not exactly what I was uh, hoping for. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. Move on? Just, just give up? Let it go? Come to terms. Sure, let me just curl up on the floor and wait for... <laughs> whatever. Give up. That's what you're saying. You're scared. Because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? I can still do that. I can still do that! Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know 
I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? You may be a super complicated fortune cookie at this point, but you're hitting the nail on the head. Any for your thoughts? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. Get my, get my own drink. Could I become an annoying voice in Johnny's head? If he takes over my entire brain, would there be and a little bit of thoughts? me left just to hang around and aggravate him? That's almost, almost tempting to go for. I'm scared of the unknown event. Can't imagine what it's like. To... Yeah. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. Yeah. You're not wrong. So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez. Don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Yeah. That was actually helpful. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk. You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Um... Actually, no. Not really. It was... It was weird and I thought I was gonna hate it, but... I don't know. Some kind of seizure? Yeah, maybe. A lot of things been going on in my head lately. But this was... different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here. Come back. But I need something else. Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. Yeah, even without 
the doll programming. You know, pretty insightful. <sighs> oh, I am not threatening Ghost this now, girl. Or I'll call security. No, 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 no. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat. But she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out. And maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Oof. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Okay. Eleven. I could be nice. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Yeah. Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Okay, I could just sure. try being polite. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Alright. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2. I VIP think. area. Alright. Okay. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. I'm sorry, my mouth what does happened? that sometimes. I, I keep trying to have a word with it, but uh, apparently it doesn't want to listen. And this is where Johnny appears and says something annoying. Okay. be honest, I think maybe it's time to just a small camera glitch. Can I close it again? Let's take a look, shall we? Uh blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Have we got in here? Hall of you? See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Huh. There's a hidden camera here. Okay, so we now know there is a recording. All right, well, I guess. Hmm. What's this? off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. Yep. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? No. Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? 
Weird. Not that weird. When I first talked to Dexter Deshawn about her, the voodoo boys came up. He was asking around about her, and they contacted him and said, stop. <sighs> yeah, that's... That's not good. And I've now got to get into the VIP area upstairs. I think it's time to start. Well, using these cameras and coming up with a battle plan. Okay, so that's everyone that I can mark marked. But there are a number of people that I cannot seem to get a lock on. So I'll just have to try and remember where they are. And then casually wander around until I get... Okay. Shutters will leave me outside. What is this? Supernova. Supernova, the unofficial biography of Lizzie Wizzy. The turning point in her career came in 2069, when Lizzie unveiled herself in her true cyber-modified form, an erotic reimagining of Snow White. Okay. At the end of her concert, Lizzie ate a synthetic apple laced with specially prepared poison that induced cardiac arrest. For a full minute, the LED screen showed a close-up of the flat line on her electrocardiogram while her body lay motionless on the stage. What, and everyone just stared at it? The concert was put on hold for five and a half hours while a team of Ripperdox swapped out her biological organs for the latest generation of more technology implants. After being revived, Lizzie sang Restart, Reheart, Repeat, which sat at the top of the world charts for the next full year. I always felt like my mission was to cross the ultimate frontier, she later said in an interview with N45 News. That frontier is death. Lizzie's anarcho-terrorist performances are inspired by the artist's frequently stylized transformations. She had been used to giving away used clothes to friends before simply leaving them out on the street for people. She wanted to do the same with implants. Though it turned... For an awful second, I thought it was going to say, she wanted to do the same with her organic organs. Though it turned out that top-tier cyberware was linked to its user and couldn't simply be given away. Lizzie Wizzy is best known for her war against implant homogenization by mounting an armed assault against Biodyne Systems Factory, during which Lizzie and a group of mercenaries took control of the building and stole approximately 1,200 different implants that were then given out during an impromptu concert. The heist was broadcast live, an insurance for Lizzie. She knew no corporate soldier or police officer would dare to kill or harm her on live TV. Really? Mm -hmm. In the years following, the media argued that the heist was arranged beforehand with Biodyne and that Lizzie paid for the implants and the renovation of the factory. That theory is seemingly supported by the fact that Biodyne never pressed charges against Lizzie Wizzy. Lizzie still denies these speculations, claiming that Biodyne co-opted her heist as free advertising. Ooh. I mean, it could be either. That is possible. I suppose it, it means that she's either kind of similar to Johnny in some ways, or Johnny would consider her a complete fraud and corporate sellout. Or possibly both. That is, that is the other option. Which is not really getting me. Okay. Hi. I'm looking for the toilet. Over here, is it? Okay, can I just sneak in there without him looking? Is that, is that an option? There's... Okay. I'm hearing a 
buzzing. What have I got there? Technical ability seven. Okay, is this the toilet? The this is a tiger claw, and it's also the gents. Okay, sand of Istan, charge, jump, break, hold. Okay. Yeah, definitely not the ladies. We're, we're just, just close the door, close the door. What was this? Okay, and what exactly? Clear shelf. Oh! Oh, I can... I can rob the place. Hey, you know what? That, that, that sounds good to me. Yes, it does. All right. BD1C... Wouldn't it? And then E9551C. That would work, wouldn't it? BD1C, E9551C. There you go. What do we get? For that, we got some crafting stuff. Does this remove power to something? Or does it remove power? Thank you very much. Oh, that actually reminds me. I probably should get that ready just in case. I don't know what this is going to do. Is this going to turn the cameras off? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, so... It did. Camera turned off. <laughs> Not that I couldn't have done that anyway. What about this? Whoop. Calling. Nope, 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 nope. Press that by accident. Uh, okay. So that's the big... Can I just sneak past him? I mean... Would that work? Because he's... We could try. <laughs> oh no, that looks strange. for VIP customers only. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, di I didn't realize. Um, False alarm. Thank All right. So then the other option. Hmm. Because there is shutters there. God, the man in the toilet's taking an awful long time, isn't he? I'm just enjoying the show. Just ignore me. Okay. So... I'm just gonna... use my chameleon. Get through. And... Okay. Did that... Did not open... Oh... That's a drone, isn't it, that I'm hearing? No affiliation. Okay. And I'm going to assume I'm... Alright, what have we got? We've got... Whoa! That's not quite what I had in mind. Alright, there's a ladder... What is that? Remote deactivation? Elevator terminal. Okay, that looks more like it. And that industrial shutters. What? We... Okay. All right. Okay, that. 
What happens if I deactivate? I deactivated the elevator. Did that get me anything? I don't think it did. This, however... Love compartment, don't ask. Pilomancer, don't matter. There we Welcome to N54 News. Technical I'm ability. Garbage shoot. Body disposal. Interesting. I'd rather not kill people here. I mean, they're tiger claws, and technically it's a bounty on their heads, but yeah, I was kind of hoping to avoid having to make a mess. We begin now with your latest local news. The 54th um, anniversary of the AHQ disaster is fast approaching. In 2023, Night City was shaken to its core by the detonation of a tactical nuclear bomb. Okay, nothing here. Alright, that did not help. Okay, I can I can ping from this and that's Oh, got some all right, not a convenient ventilation shaft or something lying around. L69's you. Smart shotgun. <gasps> Don't mind if I do. Okay. And he... This is... This is not gonna work, is it? Where, where's he going next? He's gonna go... Alright, combat stim. EMP grenades. Right. Murder of... Okay. Cop killer. I mean, cops wouldn't mind if I killed him. I just, just really would rather not. Should I just... After the break, we have a look at our world report. And... I was going to back into the room, but I kind of lost it. Oh! I got a token! I got a token! I got a token! I got a token! I've got a token. Oh, wait! Oh, I probably could have taken out the guy in the toilet. Probably had a token, didn't he? That's an elevator, but that's definitely somebody, somebody looking in this direction. All right. And then let's get back out. We've, we've got a token now. So sh What's the... Be oh, wait. I think I know where this is. Can I open this from this side? The answer is... N Authorization not found. All right, so I've got to... I've really got to go all the way around. Yes. Or I could go up the elevator, but I feel like I'm going to get spotted. I feel like I'm going to get spotted, and I'd rather not. Okay. So, I just need to time this. Oh, he's there. He's not going to see me. He is not going to see me. What I need to do is... Perfect. Perfect. So I found my VIP token. Is that okay? Is that excellent. Excellent. Nice. So. Let's check. Didn't she say booth two? I think she did. All right. So. What 
what will you have? Anything. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. Whatever stands you up. You better keep it short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Seriously? What is your problem? It was just before I, I just wanted to... I probably should not be wandering in places that uh, I have no business wandering, right? I just see an access point and it's kind of... You know what? No, 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 no. Hey. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Um. Relax. You don't need any data. Don't need any deeds. I'm not a customer. Here to talk to you specifically, not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. Okay. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Hmm. That accident involved a client, did it? found blood in her booth. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Yeah. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Okay. Where can I find this woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Right. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Forrest. Mr. Forrest then. Woodman. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Okay. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. I'm gonna ask you very nicely. Just, just, for a little while. Could you just go away? Or shut up. Either works. 